I'm doing a series on common mistakes students make when they're building economic models. And the fifth mistake in this series is an exogenous variable that's in the model that should be endogenous. Now, this one I almost didn't include, and I'll explain why in a second, but first let's look at a model that a student made that might have this mistake, potentially. So here we have the coach's choice of how many hours of practice per week to have with the team. And of course the coach is trying to maximize the objective function probability of winning minus opportunity cost cost of the coach's time. Both of those are a function of the hours practiced. However, there's this exogenous variable in the model that is skill of the team. And you might imagine someone looking at this model and saying, wait a second, doesn't the skill of the team depend on how many hours of practice there is? Like, shouldn't skill of the team depend on H? Like, that seems like it should be the case. And that could be a critique of the model. And there's a couple of different responses here. Actually, the first response is, wait a second, no, by skill of the team, I didn't mean the skill that they develop through their, their practice. What I meant was sort of the skill that they bring to the table, like how muscular are they? Uh, what, what do they bring to the table at the beginning of the, the season? In which case, you might want to just redefine this as talent of the team or raw talent of the team, where raw talent is more interpreted to be exogenous, whereas skill is often seen as something that you develop. So that's one solution to this. An uh, oh, and let me, let me call this talent. Um, another solution could be, wait a second, we, we believe that um, hours of practice influence skill, which influences the probability of winning, so can we build this chain of causality into the model? And of course, when you have a chain of causality like this, you're just going to reverse it. So it'll be probability of winning is a function of skill, which is a function of how many hours you practice. So we could just move this into the model. So I've just moved that chain of causality and it still works. Now, there's one other thing that could be going on, and I'll explain this and then I'll do a different example that'll walk you through it. And that is, sometimes you're intentionally making a variable exogenous because you want to quiet that as one of the reasons uh, that you're looking at. You want to focus on something else. And if you can understand this, you're going to have a much deeper understanding of what economists are doing when we're building our models. So let me give you an example. So here we have a situation where the student has built a model of the miles of light rail that a city government decides to put in. They're basically deciding what's the extent of the light rail we're going to build for the city. And the benefit of that, of course, is that it's going to reduce pollution, where pollution is a function of how many miles of light rail you've got. Pollution is also a function of economic activity, and of course the cost is the government spending. Now, if someone looks at this model, they might say, wait a second, isn't economic activity a function of the light rail? Like, doesn't the light rail, building the light rail, actually increase economic activity? Shouldn't E be a function of L? So this person has this critique that this should be endogenous. And that's not necessarily the case. So why not? Um, the reason here is maybe you want to focus your, your thinking on the pollution. And you could build a lot of other things that will be influenced by miles of light rail. You could build social activity, you could build number of parks, you could build economic activity. There's so many things you could put into this model. And you are choosing to quiet all of that noise to focus on one particular thing. And that means that other things that you could have actually put in the model as a, um, as an endogenous variable, as another benefit, like you could have had economic activity as a function of light rails, but, but the list of costs and benefits could go on and on and on forever and ever. By building this model, you might decide these are the only two things I want to think about. So even though this definitely depends on light rails, economic activity does, 
Um, that's not what you're thinking about, but you do want it as an exogenous variable inside this one because this will influence that. So um, it's okay to have a model where something is exogenous even if it, uh, if, even if logically it seems like it should be endogenous. As long as you've thought about why is this exogenous in your model? And oftentimes the answer is, I'm quieting all the other noise just to focus on this effect, but I still want this exogenous so that I can think carefully about this effect. So of, of the mistakes students make, this is the one that's not always a mistake, but it's something that students need to think about because if they haven't thought about it at all and people are going to come along and be like, wait, that looks like it should be endogenous, they at least need an answer to that.